Hello! Welcome to an unboxing first impression video with me, Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. This pen was sent on loan by Applebaum Penin. It is this pen. This is not a paid video, but if you would like, you can make a purchase at applebaum.com using my discount code and you will get 10% off, excluding Mont Blanc. I don't receive a commission. This is not a paid video. I'm just sharing this with you. When this is done, this pen is gonna go back. That's all. So, if you are horrified, you can just head on out and that's okay. I'm not gonna be offended, but I do need some water. But the thing is, a lot of people have said, I would love to see this pen in action. I would like to see more of this pen. I don't have access to a brick and mortar store. So I am here trying to help you. Now the pen in question is a Pelican. This is the Pelican Souverain M815 Special Edition. Do you know what it is? Okay, I hate opening this box. I mean, I don't, but I don't want to rip the box. Does this give you a hint? Do you know what it is yet? Ah, this is the metal striped M805, no, M815, sorry. Inside the box, you get the Pelican notebook. The pen came in this little bed, and I really like this box because it is all recyclable. The paper is recyclable. I don't like those ridiculous boxes with the plastic, pleather, all that stuff. I don't want any of that. I just want something that's either very minimal or recyclable or whatever. So I really like this box. Anyway, enough of my chit chat. Thank you to Applebaum for lending me this pen. Let's take a look at it. It is this, the Pelican Special Edition M815 Metal Striped. Okay, sorry. <sighs> These long names, man. Okay, so this pen is um, 630 euros plus 63 euros extra for an extra fine nib. Now, I'm a big fan of Pelican. I have quite a few Pelicans. I love them. But like, what is, why are you charging extra? Because it's stupid. Anyway, Pelican has stopped making specialty nibs like the uh, really broads and really broad nibs, like double broad, triple broad. And now they are charging extra for the extra fine nib. Not cool guys, because I think 630 euros alone is pretty expensive. But anyway, enough of my blabbing. Um, the pen is a resin, black resin, and it has palladium plated stripes of brass and the trim is also palladium plated. So, wow, there's a lot going on here. Um, the nib is an 18 karat gold rhodium plated fine. So these are available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad. But as I said, the extra fine is an extra, what was it, 63 euros? Um, okay, I love the Souverain model. I really like these. I have a couple of them. I think they're beautiful. Now the funny thing about this pen is I first saw pictures of it and I was like, phew, not interesting to me at all. And um, then I opened it and I was like, oh, you are way prettier in person than I was expecting. And the reason for that is because these stripes, like they glitter. They look a lot like um, really thin strips of rotten. So if you're looking for like the poor man's Pelican M800 Royal Rodden Platinum. This is the version that the rest of us can have. So I actually really like it and I'm sorta of thinking I wanna keep it. Mm. Not that I need another Pelican, but look, but look, it's just, it's really beautiful. Now it is solid, it is a piston filler, it does have an ink window. The ink window is kind of blacked out right now because it's got ink in it, but I can see it, you can't. Um, I really, like, as I said, I really love Pelicans. I think this, the 800, is just so nice, really well balanced. And the interesting thing is because it is small stripes of brass in the barrel, it adds a little bit of weight to it, just a little bit of robustness, like substantial feeling to it, not too much. It's just beautiful. And I have to admit, even though their nib policy drives me insane, um, the Pelican nibs are some of my favorite writers. The fine, medium, broad. I have had experiences where they've been over polished. This fine is perfect, flawless. It yields ever so slightly. It's just a really nice writer. I really enjoy it. And I think this is like, looks way better in person than it does in pictures. 
If you're looking for an M800, I would recommend this one. I think it's beautiful. Let's take a look at how it writes because I think you should see how cute it is. That's, yeah, not cute, like how nice the fine is. It's a nice fine. It's definitely a pelican fine, which is a pretty generous, like Japanese medium or something. Let's take a look at that because I think you will enjoy it. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, bye. Okay, so here we are with the writing sample bit of the Pelican Special Edition Souverain M815 Metal Striped. So I, ha again, as I said in the pictures, I thought this was gonna be really boring. And now that I see it in person, I think it's quite classy, quite elegant, and they've done the stripes very nicely. It adds just a touch of weight to the barrel. Really nice. I love the rhodium trim. Look how glittery that is. It is just really cool. And the writing experience is excellent with this nib. So let me zoom in, do a bit of writing for you. Uh, I'll start up here. This is a fine 18 karat nib. My handwriting is not on the line because I am looking at the screen and the delay is just enough that it's confusing. Wait, I don't know why I wrote silver. Um, it is called the metal. Striped. This is a fine, <laughs> look at that hideous writing. But it is an outstanding writer, perfectly tuned, perfectly adjusted, excellent for daily use. It, it looks like it's really dry, but I would say like for a fine, it's, it's medium, it's fine in terms of its performance. Look at that, look how pretty it is. Uh, what was I gonna write? I was just gonna write some nonsense. The ink is Waterman Tender Purple. Now, it definitely looks like a medium if you are used to finer writers, but if you want something that's just like you're not sure what you want but you want to try, I think the Pelican Fine is a great place to start. So I actually love this way more than I was expecting to. Find it really pleasant, very enjoyable. And um, to be honest, I don't really want to send it back. There you go. Enough my useless writing. Useless as it were. And uh, I hope this was useful. Thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. You may or may not get it back. Uh, don't forget you can use my discount code FRIEND on the Applebaum website for 10% off your purchase, including this. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, I would be super grateful if you would like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Have a lovely day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.